Yo, what's good everybody? Yugi Fine Freedom here with some Death Pro replays for you guys. We got some new Sinju on our homie Hermit Yokai, whatever you want to call the archetype itself. My puppy dog's right here, but anyway, so I've got uh, eight duels. The duels aren't really super long, so I'm just gonna power through them all in one video to the fact that uh, I don't think like four each would make for a very long video, maybe about like five, six minutes, and I don't want to do that, so, let's open your Sinju versus the Drug Unity, so, let's open up really damn good with Macrocosmo, Solemn Warning, 200 Tribune, stuff like that, uh, this build of the Yosinju is different than what you typically see, uh, most people, at least my last build was kind of focused on aggression and using the pendulums and stuff, but I found this build to be pretty more interesting and a little more better to the fact that it's a little bit more control based than uh, what the other Yosinju decks are in the form that you basically want to try to control the field and you slowly beat down your opponent with the uh, sort of the weaker Yosinju monsters and not worrying about the uh, big 3000 beat stick so it's more of a control variant which I do typically like and that has worked out a lot better for me so my opponent's going to go off here try to go off but I'm going to try to tribute him chain to reckless which LK is going to draw two <clears throat> he's gonna trade him. He's trying, he's trying to deck and try to get cards. He's trying to get that MST so he can get rid of a Mac Cosmos. But it, it's pretty much too late because this here is exact game tech for 1700. Search out anyone because why not get the pendulum so my uh, secret technique is live. And then attack for a perfect game right there. GE, you're gonna need player. So next up, play against Fire Kings. And also, this is like. Always the first time I'm actually seeing these duels, these replays, so I have no idea what opponent actually has in their hand outside of what they actually used during the duel. So, the Fire King player, I feel sorry for him, I really do. He had a really shitty hand, and I've been in those situations many times with Fire Kings where I just drew complete shit and got awful uh, trash. And yeah, he had also the Fire Kings, which typically would be good, but against a deck like Yosinju, which the monsters can return back to the hand. Uh, it makes things like Onslaught very, very dead. But here I thought it was interesting that he searched out his boar instead of a uh, Yakusha. Because Yakusha, I feel like, would have been a better option. I don't know. It could have been. But I don't know exactly what boar it does. But Yakusha would have been a, a really good card. But now I'm just going to kind of go off here again. Uh, getting two more counters. Moving three with the shrine to add this guy to my hand. I'm very bad at pronouncing the Yosinju monster's names. So... I'm not really going to be pronouncing them by their names. I'm going to be saying this guy and that guy. But the Cowboy Death for the win. Because Death by Cowboy is just awesome. So duel number three versus the Gimmick Puppets. Very interesting Gimmick Puppet build. I'm kind of, you know, let's take a look. I'm kind of curious what his all his deck is. Oh, God. Judgment of the New Bits. Rank up Magic Barrier's Force. Look at all this. Look at all this. What the heck is this? Try and guess. Guess the kind of Burns opponent. We got... Kato Bingo Challenge, I think that I pronounce it. Mirror Forge is an interesting gaming puppet deck, but still giving puppets nonetheless. <coughs> so, it's gonna open up with this giving puppet scissors, send the Dre Doll to the grave, and it's attack for 1200, which, okay. I'm all fine with that. So, I open up with the warning, got my Yoshi and Juice stuff, so I'm gonna go and go off here, something used to you effect, I mean, you, uh, you boost him by a thousand, just rampage over my, my opponent's life points here with this power. Um, this card right here, uh, let's see, where, I know I have him in real life, where, where, uh, yeah, it's right here, the, uh, Kasuchi, I think I pronounce him, is really what makes the deck, at least this version of the deck, much more viable to the fact that, um, he's on a field you can boost another Yoshin Ju monster by a thousand attacks, so pretty much it makes him almost 3,000 beast sticks, which is really, really awesome. And also an Honest from the hand, which is also really cool. So, if for some reason your mosque is Vader or something like that, it won't turn to the hand. They attack it, you can stitch it, and it gains a thousand attack. So, that's always really cool. <coughs> I'm going to slowly beat him down. I'm going to set my warning and set my, my secret technique. So, that way, if for some reason he had like a bomb or something like that face down, I can just activate it, you know, protect my monsters. Attack for 1200 again, I don't really care. Um, I could have warned, but I'd rather have waited for an XE, something that he went, a power play pretty much, but now I'm just going to go off and pretty much kill him this turn, just because just the spam, of the spam of the deck is really awesome, and this is what, and I rarely even go into my extra deck, just because, you know, I want to try to keep my secret techniques live and stuff, and the only time to really go to my extra deck is if I feel like I really need it, but 
that's that's GG. That's game. The power of the ocean juice is uh, with me. <coughs> so duel number four is versus the hands, and it's an actual hand deck, not like hat, not just hands and something random. It's just a hand deck, and I was really excited for this because has anybody any honestly just. To be honest, has anyone ever tried playing an actual hand deck? You know, with the fire hand, ice hand, with the prominence hand, you know? I don't think anyone's ever tried that. Well, I'm sure somebody has, but none that I've seen. And this is the first time I've seen, like, an actual hand deck on Dev Pro and actually face so I thought it was pretty cool. So he's going to attack me with the ice hand. I'm going to banish out the uh, 101 because that, that card's more of a threat than the ice hand ever would be. So I make a little bit of misplay here. Um, I summon up, I'm going to butcher this up, Kama Itachi, I think it's how I pronounce it, I summoned him, and I used the effect to summon up the Kama Itachi, sorry I'm butchering it, but instead I should have kept him in my hand and summoned up the, the Honest card because of the fact that I could have given him a nice boost to show more damage, but also the fact that if he had a Trunto Tribute face down, I would still have a monster that can give me just a normal summon in my hand and not lose it, so that was a misplay on my part right there. <coughs> Put my attack, next to the Mission of Fisher, Ice Hand, um, goes to hell, and just banished to the Shadow Realm. So I'm going to turn my shit back to my hand, and I search out Secret Technique. And again, just in case he has something face down, that could be a nuisance of me. Attack me with the uh, Wall Illusion, which I didn't really care about. Get my bomb, so I'm going to summon up my Kamen Atachi, summon up him, use his effect, turn that, summon him, use, boost him by a thousand. Turn up the hand and battle phase attack for a thousand. Get to search out for my uh, my pendulum. He's going deep fisher. I'm not deep fisher, I'm, but I'm going to secret techniques him so that way I can keep my my monsters and continue doing my shenanigans. At this time, I kind of wish now I went for secret techniques instead of the pendulum, but at the time, I didn't really know. Uh, figured the pendulum would be the best option, at least in my opinion. Set the neutral end turn. I don't know why I ended turn. Oh yeah, because I was waiting for him to make a play, so I could trench, trench with the board, because I knew it was the Wall of Illusion face down. So I wanted him to make a push, and I could just get rid of his board. So I could summon up him, and just pretty much go for the safe play here, attack. And I don't know why he didn't deep person. him. Uh, I could have been misdeemed this backer, knowing that this one was a nothing. But, you know, I I don't know why I didn't misdeem, but he really could have just deep prisoned my, uh, my monster, because I didn't have secret techniques down. And of course, he didn't know that. He doesn't know I don't have secret techniques down. But if you feel like you have an answer, go ahead and use that answer. If it gets cock blocked, oh well, like a cock block. But at least you try you didn't quit when you know when you when you technically had an answer because he would have lived by uh, he would have lived by 200. So that was the misplay I feel on my opponent's part there. <coughs> so let's go versus the hype, the hype train of infernoids. <laughs> yeah. The hype train is real! The hype train is real! <laughs> That's playing against the almighty Infernoids! And I open up really damn good with a secret training to bond a tanky and the spam fuckery that is the Yosinji. So I'm gonna go completely ham on him because I have secret techniques to protect my monsters. I'm gonna turn that to the ham. He's gonna activate emptiness. It's like, okay, I don't really care, but it was a good thing he did actually emptiness because I would have won this turn if he did not. Can you take a look at all the damage being dished out here? And he was with 700. If he didn't have the emptiness, I would have gamed him a cowboy. So that was a good play in his part. I guess he maybe saw that. It's like, oh shit, I better emptiness now. Regardless if it hurts his deck or not, I have to live with his emptiness. So now he comes up in this monster gate. Thanks to the pen of the monster, I can secret technique. Cockblock his monster gate, which allowed him to go off. I go in and bolish to get off my field. I know he's going to use the effect anyway to trip himself, but still, that gets up on my field. That forces him to use the effect, so that we doesn't permanently lose it to the banner zone. So that was my thought process there, but now I pretty much can go for the kill of Kamatachi, you turn the hand, go for Cowboy, and game. Now, the reason I went for Cowboy instead of attacking was just in case it was a D Prison or a Mirror Force. You never really know. Well, D Prison wouldn't matter, but in case it was a Mirror Force. Because, you know, regardless of people say it's bad this format, people still play Mirror Force, and I like to still try to be kind of cautious. <coughs> Masked Heroes! Oh, yeah! Another person with the emptiness! 
This the internet has, has seen now across the world. So we're gonna take him, and I'm gonna play safe at the MST is at the morning. He knows what I'm playing now, but he doesn't know what my back row is. So he's MST hitting my MST. Set that. Go for the road. Gets the Goblin Bird, which I think is an interesting car in Heroes. I summoned up my. He entered this me. He's like, why? I still get my effect. And now everything gets destroyed. It's like, that sucks for you, man, because now you lost the uh, emptiness. He really misplayed there. I don't know why he emptiness. I guess he thought maybe he would stay on the field, but the fact that the change roll fell backwards, I don't really know what the thought process was, but emptiness alone doesn't hurt the decky. Like, he, uh, the way to really hurt the deck is basically when you're put in a situation where you need to special summon, that's when you want emptiness to just send you deck. When you put him in that tough situation where the only way they can get out of it is by special summoning. But other than that, uh, it just doesn't really hurt the deck all too much since everything gives you an additional normal summon. So he's going for the Dark Law, he's going to get his alias, and maybe still I go for a 101. This is where Entenus would have played a big role. This is where he should have saved the emptiness for because I had a 101 to get rid of the Dark Law. Otherwise, I could have tried to trip you, but still something I needed to get rid of. So I'm going for Tinky, search out for this guy, summon so use effect, summon you, use his effect, turn the hand. It's kind of based up there, and this is GG. Uh, big GG, got the search out anyway, but he does surrender because he knows it's game. Doing up 7 versus the Nordics! Nordics! Do violently, you get the secret techniques, the deep prison, and secret techniques. I add secret techniques because this will make, protect my, <coughs> my Hermit, yo, my Yoshinju. At least I think it would, because, well, he got the warning. Got to open up a double MST warning and a lance. This guy is some sack, some sack, some sack. Super sack. I mean, like, it's like super happy sack time. This guy's got all the tech, but I can sack hard guys. Look, you warning that. I top deck another one. i just that good of a player, guys. So you know, there's this, which really does stink, because I wanted to kind of span the field. But I am going to secret techniques that saying, no, you shall not pass. And the best thing about having a Harma Yoka on my field is that whenever I have a secret techniques, it's always live now. So pretty much he helped me out in the long run, because now I can continue to search for my secret techniques and never have them be dead, which is awesome. Okay, stack for 16, use effect, search, search, uh, search out secret techniques, and I, in my turn, not doing any more damage because I was kind of afraid that he might deprison my Kaminatachi uh, now that I search secret techniques. It was a little fear I had, but no matter not because it's attack. He gets the hamstrat. I'm gonna activate secret technique saying screw your hamstrat. Uh he does get his fly squad uh draw, but I'm gonna add another secret technique to my hand. And he's gonna lance my my Yokai, so now he pretty much lives the scene the other day, but now I want to return back to my hand and I have a live secret techniques on my field. So charge, I'm gonna activate it just to say no, you cannot. Just say no, I'm sorry, bro. You can't do that. Any uh any surveyors. And the funny thing is, is the fly squad really fucked him over. That's this is the card that really fucked him over because <coughs> if he didn't have the fly squad, he would be able to some of the Valkyria of the Nordic send send uh, send his Vanitas, send him two tokens, and go for an Odin. Uh, yes, next time I would have been able to one on one his ass, but still, uh, he he would have had a play. So this is kind of a thing that where supply squad doesn't always go in everything. It doesn't go in every deck. Despite what people think, because right there it fucked him over more than it helped him. So we're gonna do well. Get the soul drain. Come and actually end like another yokai. Set everything and go. I have the magical macro cosmos. Guys, this thing is just so good. Tax me eight hundred. You go swords and phase. I MSC the swords. I could have MSC'd it a long uh, beforehand, but I wanted to see if he played a more macro. Actually, macro comes with summon up my yo Sinju monsters. And we're going to attack into his Crumble Hedgehog. And now we just have plays for days because we've caught, we've essentially cock blocked his deck because he needs the graveyard. And my monsters don't give two shits. And I have a lot of chicken technique now because of my Harmony Yokai Pendulum Monster. So get my shrine, activate shrine, nor some you. Get trying to counter, fact, summon you, another trying to counter. <clears throat> and we're going to attack. He's going to OD over travel. I'm going to activate secret techniques to say, no, I'm not allowing that. Attack for 16. I'm going to add another secret techniques because this card is just so good. Turn a hand, return a hand, and turn. And we're just slowly building up the shrine counters. Now, he actually uses field spell. I'm going to secret techniques that because I wasn't too sure <clears throat> what, he was, what his plan was because 
my thought was, oh shit, I better get rid of that because he might have a Malefic for some reason. And I don't want to deal with a Malefic. Uh, and that don't feel because that's fucking nasty and I'm going to be in shit ton of trouble there. Of course, I could have Chidori and all that stuff, but oh well. Didn't really matter. In the long run, but I was to play, I wanted to play pretty cautiously. Uh, not really take many risks. So he's having Shunk Synchron, and to be an asshole IT president, like, no, I'm sorry, but I've taken 1,600 points of damage. That's too much damage for me. I'm, I can't allow you to damage me anymore. And I get another one. I'm just going to spam fuck the field because, you know, I can. <coughs> and get another search off. Get for my honest, and just attack. And attack. And that's game. So... That was the Yosinju! Uh, Dark Profile to come later on today or tomorrow. So, hope you guys enjoyed the Yosinju duels, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, bye!